Hey guys, Jared here again, aka The Laughing Man. Today I'm actually out here working on my Yamaha FZ07. Uh, this bike here was built for racing. So it's got aftermarket suspension, front and rear. Uh, it's got uh, rear sets, it's got clip ons, it's got just about everything that you could want. Uh, it's got an auto tune system, it's got a horde intake. Uh, aftermarket sprockets it's got a crash cage on it front doesn't have the rear one so as you can tell it's got just about every upgrade you can put on it a little beat up uh, i got this from a friend of mine uh, who raced it on the track and wanted to upgrade to something a little bit bigger so i went ahead and got this from him for a good deal and i like how it rides it's a very good bike it's not very good for back and forth to work for me although that's primarily what i use it for is i take it uh, on the freeway so i have about a uh, 20 minute ride on the freeway to get to work every day so i'm pushing it between 65 and 85 miles an hour and it just drinks the gas it really does uh, i get about two two and a half days of riding you know to and from work um, but for neighborhood riding stuff like that it's an absolutely amazing bike but with the aftermarket suspension it actually raises up a little bit so you can't really like i can flat foot it but there's some spots where i prefer to just get a little bit lower sorry about that planes everywhere um so i'd like to lower it a little bit so i went ahead and got myself just an amazon mcs tuning lowering kit so it's just a pretty inexpensive milled billet aluminum so normally when you do this there's a couple different things that you have to remove um, I don't have the rear fender or anything like that I went ahead and already loosened these bolts so that I could get it off a little bit easier um, and then it's just replacing this little guy right here but it should be a pretty quick and easy process so I've got it on the rear stand and then I'm gonna jack it up a little bit to get it just off the rear stand to get this loosened up so that I can get those bolts out and then we should be able to just slide the new one in So here are the two together. Hopefully I'm in frame. Uh, but here's the two together. The difference. So it rakes it out a little bit and lowers it. So go ahead and get this one installed real quick. Uh, you have to take these little bushing guys and stick them in here. So all that is back together. Uh, it took about 15 minutes. So that's what it looks like with the new one in there. It's all blacked out now. Looks like it matches the bike a little bit better. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of thread locker on each of these three bolts. Not much. You don't want to make so that you can't get them off in the future. Uh, and then I'll turn it down to specs. And then we'll get it off the stand and see where we're at. done so I'm gonna go ahead and get it off the stand real quick and then we can uh, see how it actually feels
finger up because again, when you go to corner, this bike was built to lift everything up away. I'm just trying to get it a little bit more user friendly, but I would say this is actually it's definitely not a problem. It seems like it's sitting a little bit more prominent, but it uh, doesn't bother me. I'll have to give this a couple rides back and forth, see where we're at with it. Okay. Alright guys, so that's one of the modifications I'm going to do to the bike today. The other is the uh, Dorman handlebars or grips. Um, I'm going to switch them out to some switch them out for some pro tapers uh, these are the pillows uh, these ones I mean they're, they're a little worn but this bike when you're when you're just on the freeway for 20 minutes each way um, your, your hands do start to go a little tingly so hopefully these will help with that everybody's giving these really good reviews so that's gonna be my next mod for this if you want to call it a mod um, other than that, if you guys have anything that you think I should do to make a FZ07 better, let me know. Uh, or, if you have anything to make my fully modified race built Vue1125R better. I don't know what else you could do to this thing to make it better, but hey, if you got ideas, I'm open to suggestions.